Well, well Lions TV, um, chat and chip after that win away to Wickham. Wow. Um, get that, let's get that first five minutes, five, ten minutes out of the way. Um, we all know Bart's probably the best goalkeeper in the league. Um, whether that's biased or not, I don't care. He is the best goal in the league. I know a few of you um, rival fans will probably comment below that uh, I'm you know, chatting at me arse, but I do that for a living, mate, so uh, I don't care. Um, when he gets it wrong, it does cost us a goal every single time. But I thought we showed a lot of good character today to not let that affect us, um, not get our heads down. We played some controlled football against a team that's down the bottom, and I think that was our first goal when we gifted it them. Um, I don't think they put us under too much pressure other than that, but the midfield was quite controlled. R Romeo and Jed were back with a vengeance today. Uh, they looked like they had their bit between the teeth. Um, they both wanted it. Um, bombing down that right wing. Um, Jed put about four or five absolute phenomenal crosses in today, which is something I've always criticised him for his end product. Um, after he gets there, there was a couple still where it's like I didn't beat the first man, or he overthought it and just put it into an area of no, where no one was. But overall, I thought his, his delivery was a lot better today. Um, Smith there just uh, finally, finally gets the penalty um, after he's been like you know assaulted and you know just borderline, borderline like uh, it's assault, wasn't it? Sometimes last last year, last season. Uh, we've been crying out, why didn't he get them? Like, you know, and uh, first first time he happens against us, against Brentford, they get a penalty. So it was good to see we finally got one. Jed tucks that away really well. Um, I just said it, so I, I just think it was a, a, it's, a, it's a performance we we needed. It was controlled. It wasn't like we put them under too much pressure, uh, as in, you know, there's chance after chance after chance after chance. But we was, we was on top. We was in there, came to their half, and then Leonard, Leonard comes out. He doesn't score tappings, that boy, does he? What a good ball comes in, Smith just absolutely cushions it, cushions it, and then Leonard just does the rest. Ping, off volley, top corner, from the edge of the box, done a phenomenal one. Other than that, I mean, we hit the bar twice, or two, two or three times, wouldn't it? So, I was quite happy with that. We're going to be nervous. They're going to, you know, I think the the breaking of the net, which you might see later if you didn't see the game. Um, Cooper's gone, took a free kick from the, from the halfway line, and hit the bar and all subs fell in the, in the net and broke the net so I think that killed our momentum they then started to get the ball forward and pump the balls in the box and then it was a back to back to, back out to the wall job where I think we did all we did really well I've been saying that Bart weren't put under too much pressure I think there was one ball in the box where we got a bit nervy but overall it's a good a good performance say the five, first five minutes up but I said 2-1 you know I take 2-1 I think that was a game where we needed to win you know we've got to start pushing not pushing on and beating these teams no disrespect to Wickham um, they've done well to come up. I think they'll they'll work their asses off, and you know they'll, they'll try and stay up by by doing that. Wonder what they. I, I, I couldn't see. I couldn't work out their game plan today, but you know they'll come up by pressing and hitting on the counter. You know they've got to probably find a way of trying to win results because whatever is not working for them, whether they've been unlucky, I don't follow um, every team too much detail, but. Um, yeah, we've got you know we've got a massive, massive run of games now, so the squad's going to be um, put to the test. Of course it will, um, but you know, we had to start with a win with this run of games. It's, it's, it's great we're sitting there watching the game and think with some of the interplay was good. Again, end product might not be quite there, um, but they're grafting and they're, they're doing well. Leonard's come come on under route. I still think there's probably better options out there, but he's come on. Wood is just, as I say, he's like, he's like a magician or conductor in the middle, just orchestrating everything. It's phenomenal. Jed back on, on form. Mahoney had moments, I think, still wanting him to, to, to step on, step step that, take that next step. And I think he's a rhythm player. He needs games. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he drops in for Bennett again next game, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, like Romeo on form, Murray Wallace solid as ever, and the two at the back were solid, and it was a good performance, you know. Um, Onwards and upwards, and they say we've got we've got a lot of games thick and fast until Christmas now. So uh, we've got to build on this, you know. And I've gone four four one one. Maybe it's the way forward, you know. Unlucky for Pierce, he's the club captain, but if it's best for the team, best for the club, then we're gonna have to go with that. And it's gonna be interesting to see Zahor come in now because I thought that might have been the end of Matt Smith, but he actually played well today. He got himself about a bit more than normal. He was an handful any time the ball come in he won the penalty so that's an assist he gets the assist for the second goal i think they were worried about him all day i think he gives you an option as a defensive um threat 
as well as in their box. Um, and yeah, that's great. And then one more thing, if anyone can tell me how Bart was fouled for their disallowed goal straight from a corner, I think he gets grabbed on the shoulder. You know, we don't normally get them, but we'll take them today. You know, I'm really happy. We can start the weekend well. Come on, you Lions.